Hello and welcome back to the Road to SSL series. One of us at number 22 for today, and in the last episode, we nearly made it to Grand Champ 3, but we're not quite there yet. I expect we should make it in this episode, though. And apologies once again if my voice sounds a bit rough. It hasn't fully recovered yet, but we're getting there. But of course, before we get into the episode, we gotta do the meme of the day. And this has to be the best idea ever suggested on the channel yet. The caller 20 suggested roll sizz. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm very excited for this one. We've got sizz here, of course, and we have roll diz. We gotta combine these two. I think you know where this is going. Now, roll diz does have a headset on, but I think that's not a problem i mean it'll look kind of silly just place them right there i think that's perfect i think that's how i want it oh my gosh <laughs> it's perfect all right so obviously uh we've got a bit of a discrepancy here that's not bad that's not bad so we got the roll disc portion now we get the roll sis portion all right i'm pretty happy with this but i think i want to do one finishing touch it's perfect all right game number one we got mogi on our team against ozzy and monkey Let's go. MMR is pretty good. We got a 1754 on the other team. So a little bit higher than us, but should be all right. Got 50 towards the net. And then maybe a follow up here. It's going to be really tough for them to save. I think they actually own gold off that. They're in a really, really vulnerable position when they're sideways like this. He's challenging sideways. So I know that I can just force myself into that. It might not go towards the target like I, like I got it there. It might spill out mid. But either way, the player behind me is also uh, chasing towards the net. Right here, I'm trying to force... Uh, that guy off the boost. Really good challenge for my teammate. Let Monkey jump for this. He ends up misjumping. I did not expect him to follow up like that, but looks like my teammate's going to have this. The way that that bounces off, I'm just going to try and bump this guy. What a shot. It's a great start. Um, I saw my teammate able to turn on that. It wasn't the greatest touch for me because I was trying, or a uh, challenge for me, but ended up working out because he has spell spilled the ball out to my teammate. Now I can probably pressure this. Stay close. What I'm doing there is trying to wave dash onto the floor. That way it, uh, I can catch the ball. If I don't, I'm going to probably lose control of the ball. I might lose this mid boost. He almost did it again. This guy's the best. I could shoot it immediately. This might actually be in our net. Mogi should be back though. It's over him. Now I can stay close to this. Oh! Try to get that mid, but I didn't have any boost to go for it. Use it all in that pinch play. The monkey's going for the follow up. Go for the. Quick, quick challenge, bump off monkey. My teammate did miss though, so a little bit dangerous. Hop over the one, and then maybe go for a shot. Saved by monkey, but we still get a good pressure. Now he went for the early shot. I'm gonna try and roll this, that way it stays close to me. And now I keep it on the wall here. Almost underneath that one player. I kind of scared of them immediately going for the shot, but they ended up missing. Or not going, I mean. Good clear for my teammate. Big boom. My teammate's up. See if we can boom, bump the guy, maybe. The guy just passed it to me. He tried to make some sort of clear off the ceiling, but ended up popping right down to me off that touch. Uh, and that's a quick forfeit. I mean, honestly, my teammate play, play, played really well in that game, and he got a really sweet redirect at the beginning, too. A quick game. Move on to the next one. Uh, should be our GC3 match here, I think, right? Yep, we ranked up. So I, th I knew we were going to get get it in this episode. It just was a matter of time. All right, let's get a, a challenge up here. Got Mogi on the other team this time. I'm trying to go for a boost still here. Like a touch, maybe Killar can go for this. It's all good. I should be able to stay with this on the wall. I got 51 boost. If I go for that mid boost though, it's a bad situation. I'm gonna try to pop this to the floor. I can't quite follow it because of my flip. I should put us in a decent spot. Nice challenge. I like that. Oh. Oh. Put this back here. Decent 50. Wait for Ozzy here. See what he does. He's panicking. Can pass this middle if I can to my teammate. Just push up in time and see what he does here with the ball. I like the fake on the one. Nice shot. Well played. I like that he was uh, waiting for that, that challenge in mid uh, to come and he just kind of sat with the ball, forcing the, the opponent to have to do something, have to make a challenge of some sort. Go back here, see what happens. Okay. I don't see Ozzy going for this. I'm going to fake this guy here. Even if he makes a touch early challenge, which is very common at this rank, like I've, I've said before. Um, it's not like the most dangerous. Killer goes for an early shot. End up missing. I'm going to go up for this and maybe shoot this bottom left. There we go. Great placement. They uh, they ended up panicking off the backboard. I, I almost wasn't going to go because at my rank, people probably would have recovered for that. And I'm last man there. Uh, but this rank is definitely more than shootable. 
This guy could go for this immediately. Once again, I'm not going to go for it. Oh, I missed the ball. Oops. Uh, right there, I could have just definitely just jumped off the wall and went for the flip, but I, I mistimed my uh, my jump. That's behind them, so I'm just going to get the corner boost. Uh, I can do it immediately. Just pop this into mid. Assuming my teammate here for the shot. I can't go for the shot angle there because of the fact that it's bouncing up the way that it did. Mogi missed the ball, though. Ooh, that's bad for me. My teammate really should be closer in mid there, so he doesn't get in these situations. Go for a demo on this guy. And even if Mogi ma makes a hit on the ball, it's not too dangerous, especially if he miss flips like that. I passes my teammate. Ends up passing it back, no problem. This probably could have been avoided if uh, my teammate was closer in mid uh, to immediately follow up instead of like defaulting to go all the way back. Because in that situation, he could uh, keep the pressure going on uh, on their side. But it's all, it's all a matter of knowing when and when not to do that because uh, you can overcommit if you do that too much. But in this situation, I believe that he could have he could have definitely gotten a couple boost pads on the way back. Decent pinch down the field. All right. So I got a little bit of pressure in the mid here. Make him waste his boost. There we go. Mogi's going to make a touch. Now he just back out. Might be Ozzy, but he booms it right to me. Now, I see Mogi not going for this. So I'm immediately going to go to the floor again and then try to go for uh, a floor shot. Decent. That's the cut I was talking about. It's really good. I'm going to take the boost here. And I'm throwing the ball away. Pop it up for myself. Go for a flip reset. Pop it behind Mogi. He ends up getting a nice catch, though. So unfortunately, I misplayed that a little bit. But he threw it away right here, so we should be okay. Woo! I'm popping it backwards, but it should work. Killer can get the back corner there. I like the patience. Not the greatest touch. It might be them again, but he ends up getting a recover recovery. Not going to be a goal here. Unless he can flip it mid, which he does, and I can finish it. So I had to wait for that uh, that play to fizzle out. Like right here, I think Ozzy could have cleared that better to the corner. He panicked. But once uh, Killar's in the air like that, and he's going like supersonic speed. So you know his car can't go any faster. Might be going for a fake. They also telegraphed that way too much. Both players telegraphed it. That was on both of them. Not only the, did the kickoff player like go a little bit wider than he normally was, but also the player behind was uh, playing it very wide too. I'm trying to bump this guy. And I'm not getting the touch, but it's not too dangerous because the guy basically flipped into it really hard, but didn't follow it. This would be dangerous. I'm going to touch this to the corner around this guy. It's a decent touch. Maybe it'll stay with it. Make sure I pop that over them with the one touch. Ooh, oops. Good save for my teammate. Good save on that one too. I'll flip that to the far right. It's not going to be a goal. It's definitely like a safer play for me to go for. Especially when we're up two goals. I could go for an all-in play on the shot. But uh, I instead go for just a flick to cause some pressure. Make them have to clear it off the, the shot on target. This guy's got a ceiling play. Oh, it's a good shot. Good finish. I definitely could have just jumped up a, a little bit early for that one. He said my fault, but I really think that was partially my fault. I could have gotten in the way. Made some sort of play to uh, attempt at that. That was a good cut from them. Look at the corner boost. I'm going to let Ozzy go into this ball. Now I'm going to stay close to this. For Musty, maybe? Oh, the bump. Rude. The killer does make a good challenge in mid. He used quite a bit of his boost. Was a little bit dangerous. Pop it over him. Ozzy's gonna make an awkward touch. Maybe should be grabbing some boost pads. I'm gonna make him go for that. Now I go across. I know Mogi's pretty low here, so Killer should be able to catch this. He ends up making the mistake, but it's all good. Go for a flick. Mogi, Mogi will touch this. I actually like that they pop that like that because it's in a position where no one can really follow up about my teammate. He ended up uh, losing the ball too, but either way. Mogi going out for this early is also really good for us because he has to make a touch here. And even if he does, it's not great. And you can see here, I'm just going to force. I'm not going to do anything silly. I'm going to be overcommitting. As I say that, this might be an overcommit. It's going to be on target. It's on. Yeah, my teammate ended up jumping for that when he didn't need to because it was near the wall. And I was going to back off. But right here, he definitely could have just went back. As you can see, that touch from Mogi wasn't dangerous. He was uh, in a position where he could just, you know... Hit the ball to the wall. And that's it. 
But going for it is going to put him in a position where he's in, in a much better spot to follow it up. Uh-oh. That could have been really bad. This could still really be, be really bad. At the cut for my teammate. I'm trying to stay underneath, underneath it here so he panics. And this should be a shot for my teammate. I'm going to bump this guy off the ball. And there we go. Definitely not the cleanest. But we made it work. And uh, we get the second dub. So let's move on to the next game. What a strange match. All right. The final game. We got the exact same lobby. So we got pretty evenly matched here. Uh, Mogi's at 17.02. I go pop it to the side. My teammate should get this in mid. No problem. Nice pop into mid. He had double there. It's actually not the greatest because it ends up going back to them. I'm going to pop off the backboard, force Ozzy to see how much boost he had to use to go back to that backboard. This should be a free catch for me. What I'm going to do there is catch it in a way that even if like, it kind of looks like I'm losing possession in a way. I think we should be able to put this around him. Um, I'm, it kind of looks like I'm losing possession, but I'm putting it in a spot where even though I'm not fully uh, able to control it, um, I'm still able to get a 50 of some sort. But still somewhat in control. A little dangerous. Mogi might have turned on that. I gotta be careful of bumps or something. There we go. Pop it across. Just waiting for the uh, telegraphed touches there. Move up for this. Go for a shot. Not the greatest, but I can maybe go back and get the uh, mid boost here. I was gonna try and get that corner. Teammate should be jumping for this. There we go. Clear up. Once again, putting Ozzy in a bad spot where he has to make some sort of touch. I see this guy turning. So once again, it's a it's a touch from them, but they let go of the possession because they're doing a, such an early challenge. To my teammate here. Good try on that. I'm really careful with how I approach this because my teammate's still pushing up. And the fact that they were going for like a demo play or something. Oh, we end up missing. I think I hit the crossbar though. Yeah, I hit the uh, the corner there. Go for a bump on, on Mogi. Wait for Killar to go for this. I end up hitting that a little bit high off the bar. I need to hit that off my wheels a little more to make sure it doesn't pop off the uh, the top of the crossbar. It's going to be over, though. I'm going to hit this in a way so that it bounces up the wall. And that's totally fine if they challenge that. Killer's backwards, but he should be okay. Yeah. I didn't want to use all my boost until I knew it was going to be safe. Now Mogi makes a touch here. Pretty good, though. Should just be in, yeah. He didn't jump up fast enough, and I think he was scared of my teammate going for that uh, bump. But all I need to do is just make a quick air dribble touch towards the net. I didn't even uh, get the chance to go for an air dribble bump because he didn't go for the challenge. It's really dangerous if I don't if I don't back off here. It's risky because the ball's bouncing towards their side if I go for some sort of follow up touch. Let's see, my teammate doesn't mid here. Pop it up. Now because I see my, that that guy t uh, flipping, I'm gonna go for an immediate shot off the uh, off the rip there. Um, off that touch because technically I lost possession when I boomed that forward uh, because it definitely could be cut off in time before I can recover off my flip. Also, I shouldn't be going for this corner boost because they're definitely going to get it. But the second that I see him flip, I know that he's telegraphed for another second or two um, off of uh, the challenge I made. And I see Killar is trying to go for that. I'm trying to stay close to this. This is decent. I'm going to be pretty low here. I don't have a lot of boost, like 30 or 40. A good try. I gotta be careful of Mogi's touch here. I saw Ozzy trying to challenge that as well. Now, the second that pops out mid, it should be my teammate to follow it. Good try. I see Ozzy trying to follow it. Or Mogi, sorry. I'm gonna flip into this one in the direction. I kind of got bumped there, but I can still follow up the flip. Those are hard to do, but you get used to it. He might chip it mid. The second he chips it mid like that, it's super hard to control the second touch immediately. So if I can pounce on that as soon as possible, it works out. Now, this is back to Mogi here off the corner. So, I'm just trying to watch what he does. He ends up giving me the ball back. I'm going to go for a shot bottom right. It might be saved, and it is. But it's, see how awkward it is for them. Because they're both in a position where they could try to challenge that. Mogi might follow this. I really shouldn't have tried for the 50-50 there. It's not the, the most dangerous. But it's also, like, uh, not the greatest play for me to make. Because it could have been bad if the 50 doesn't work. Now, he's waiting back. I could have passed this. I probably should have. That's honestly on me. I could have definitely passed that to him back here. It's a good challenge. It's a good try, but I can't go for this yet. Making a pop towards the net. He doesn't have a flip. Yeah, he doesn't have a flip reset. I knew he had it. I just couldn't figure out where when he was going to use it. So I was trying to wait back. But that was a pretty big overcommit for my teammate. In those situations, you really want your teammate to be able to uh, uh, follow it up. Now, this ball is in a weird spot. 
I'm gonna pop it to the back right. My teammate did actually push up. I didn't expect that. I thought he was going for the, the right mid boost. But hopefully I can get behind him here. To be alright. I had to go for an early challenge there. Oh! This should be still good. It's a bit far though. A little bit scary. I can't turn on this. It'd be really, it'd really be really dangerous of me to turn on that with 12 boosts. It'd be very ball chasey of me. See what this guy does. And it's definitely something you can do. I'm trying to bump this guy. It's, it's up to my teammate now, though. That is in their net. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I, I guess it's like technically a psycho. Well, you don't see those too often. I'm going to wait here for this touch. Okay, my teammate, I thought he was going to jump off the wall a little bit earlier. I could have definitely jumped uh, to get to that ball first, but I didn't want to overcommit with him because he definitely was in a better position to, to challenge that. But he just uh, waited on the wall a little too long and uh, ends up overcommitting with... Uh, ends up uh, getting us in a bad spot. Get this mid boost. My teammate should be able to control it. He's being a little bit risky. No. <laughs> yeah, the way that he flipped towards the, uh, the ball in mid there, like right here, that touch was not good because it separates him from the ball and he didn't need to do that. He was already max speed. So unfortunately, I have nine shots to zero. <gasps> oh, man. It's going to be dangerous here. He goes for the immediate shot. Now, when he does that, I can go for an immediate ship here. I'm going to go for the bump on this guy. Oh, so close. Try to bump this guy. He's panicking. Oh, maybe. It's going to be down. That's all good. I was hoping for maybe a beat there. I could have been ready for it in mid, but... Still works out for us. Okay, so we do get the challenge. I'm gonna bump this guy and then maybe I can finish it here. Oh! Ow! We should spawn. Nice. Give me Mogi here off the wall. Uh oh, I'm awkward. I'm awkward! No! <laughs> Oh, that was so bad. The way that he flipped that, I did not expect that to go behind me there. But unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out. He didn't look like he got the flip reset. And then I had to flip backwards to it and follow it up. But unfortunately, I made a mistake there. I probably could have just backed off. There was nobody like behind the ball to make a touch. So I could have just backed off. Either way, we'll do one more. 10 shots to zero. That's You don't see that every day. All right, for the last game, we got Evo Drifter on our team against uh, Spatial and Dot. We got a Dot player. Oh, no. You know, you know when you see a Dot player, you're in for a... Uh, a world of something, that's for sure. Go for immediate flick here. I don't see my teammate. Oh, he's actually behind. I didn't see the name. The nameplate was perfectly behind the other player. All right, so this should be a decent pressure here for us. I'm gonna actually fake this guy around him. I was hoping my teammate would be there. It's obviously very difficult to tell that I'm gonna win that. So I understand why he was being a little more patient. Make spatial waste a bunch of boost off the backboard. Nice boost grab for my teammate. Oh, he owned gold. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, either way, I was there. I mean, he had to make a touch. So I, I respect that he went for it. But he just made a, a really poor air roll. Yeah, it was right over his head. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, God. I like that touch because it, it's um in a spot where I can follow it up and they can't really get a follow up. I do go for a 50-50 here. It was a little bit overcommitted. I'm going to try and stay on this boost. This dot guy's going to play a touch here. I'm going to fake him here. As both players. I don't need to do anything there because they're just barreling into the challenge. We've talked about that so much in the series. That's a good shot as well. Brilliantly placed. I'm just doing the low 50s in a spot where they're panicking. When they don't really need to panic either because I'm, I'm low boost. I'm going to try and grab the boost here and the ball. To be Dot's ball here. Actually, he's waiting a little bit long, so let's go for a challenge and back off here. I'm trying to watch what happens before I before I go for that back corner boost. Ooh, I thought that would have been a fake. And to be fair, I'm used to that because people would fake that at like high SSL, like pro level. Because that's a perfect time for me to come challenge. It's around me, around the one player, but I will get demo for my actions there. Oh man, I like that. Respect it. I'm not, I don't have enough boost to really go for a nice air dribble. So instead, I'm just going to go for a flick. If I had uh, 80, I would say I'd probably go for it. But considering I have a low amount, I'm going to be overcommitted in zero. 
Uh, early challenge there. A little bit dangerous. I should, probably should have went for the uh, the challenge a little bit earlier. I didn't really think he would go for that because it was off target. But I definitely could have just made a, a pop here. I was being a little too patient. And then not a strong 50-50 for my teammate either. Like, I would say that the situation I put myself in, like, or the uh, situation that happened after me wasn't really, like, fully a goal opportunity, but it was awkward, so I don't blame Evo for not uh, getting a touch there. I'm gonna let this guy go for a, some sort of 50-50. I'm gonna wait here, see what he does. And that might just be in. He might be able to get back to this. Okay, he drove a little bit too wide. It might have still been impossible to save, though. Overcommit, uh, overcommit from Spatial there, and then also overcommit from Dot, because he didn't expect uh, Spatial to go for a 50 50 there. And it's really weird, because in that situation, it probably wouldn't have been as bad uh, for for their team if Spatial wasn't there at all, because I think it would have been easier to read for the other, the other teammate. I'm still pretty low here, so I'm just going to wait for 50s. Go for a challenge. It's going to be them here, so I'm just going to go for the boost instead. Almost a 50 into a good spot over the net there. Good pop for my teammate. Immediately they let go of the possession, so we can wait for this. A little bit of an awkward touch for my teammate. Or not for my teammate, from the opponent. Evo's backing out, so I'm just going to wait here. Obviously, this isn't like pro player Evo, by the way. But I think you guys you guys probably already know that. Oh. I'm going to chip this off the wall. I see that one of them is waiting. <laughs> I like that. Maybe a chip. Ooh. Can't do him like that. Weird play, but it works out. I mean, we were just like sitting near the ball. I don't want to flip into that because if I flip, I'm putting myself out of position. My axles, bro. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it, okay? That's over my head. Now, they could go for an immediate shot, so we be a little bit careful. Once they do that, though, I can go for a challenge. Ow. I kind of expected that because if I go for the, the play there, uh, is he making a touch? Ooh, okay, that's a good touch from him. That's over my head. They miss. Oh, that's my bad. Good read for my teammate, though. It was such a low boost. So it was a really awkward position to be in. The pop middle. He's waiting. Maybe another one here. Ooh. Okay, weird plays. Break shot. Wait, I got a pool shot. What did I? What did I get that for? Oh, <laughs> I hit him up into the ball. Let's go. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I was going to maybe try and take that from him. They could turn on this really, really early. They do, and they end up throwing the ball up to me. So the way that I want to uh, keep close to this ball is uh, hit the ball softly off a flip. Not too hard. I'm going to get demoed here if I don't move forward. Ooh, that's my bad. I mean, my teammate uh, definitely could have made a challenge uh, like ball side, but definitely just shouldn't have went off the ceiling. <laughs> I could have just stayed on the floor, and I would have been there for that. So it's all good. I'm hoping to pop this down on my teammate. You can see he can turn here. He went a little bit wide on the wall, but he still got to it. It was like definitely not as wide as he needed to go. I hit this off the corner and then try to follow this. It's decent. My teammate's up. Could be dangerous. Oh, that's a good try. I, I respect that. Off the side wall or backboard. Really good read from them. The second I see that, I'm not going to back out. I was playing for the miss. There we go. Get a 50. If I don't jump up earlier to that, I'm in really, really bad spot. I mean, it's definitely reactable. If that's that's not even a word, really, but uh, is reactable a word? I don't even know. I can definitely react to that, though, is what I'm trying to say. They're going very aggressive. They need two goals, which makes sense. I got 21 boost. I don't really want to push up for this. They've still got two goals to make, so they got to push this in real fast. And there it is. That should be game. Not a bad set of games. Uh, the last game that I played there uh, definitely felt like uh, it wasn't really like a team game. Let's go. <laughs> no comment on the chat there. Um, it wasn't. Didn't really feel like a team uh, team game. It was kind of like a two one v ones. I don't really like to play two v two that way. I like to kind of play around my teammate. Uh, so it felt a little bit weird. Like the fact that I had ten shots and my teammate had zero. It just wasn't really me uh, meshing really well. But either way, I think we, it was a good learning experience. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.